We're going to talk about the 1977 release by Leonard Skinner titled Street Survivors. Now this is the pre-accident cover, or the original cover. Uh, three days after this album was released, uh, the band was in a plane crash and uh, several members were killed. Uh, after that, they changed the cover. They removed this cover, or took it out, and uh, replaced it with a picture off the back cover, which is just a plain picture of the band. Uh, but the original cover on here uh, shows the band standing. Uh, looks like they're on fire. Uh, just a very unfortunate coincidence on here. But at the top, it's got Leonard Skinner, Street Survivors, uh, Looks like in a handwritten font. And down in the lower left hand, it's got MCA-3029, also in that uh, handwritten font. Uh, it has all the band members up here standing together. If you look at the back, uh, this is what became the front cover. Uh, it has the list of all the uh, songs on here and a lot of really good songs on here. Uh, Leonard Skinner, uh, I think this is probably their best album uh, in my opinion. They really hit their stride uh, with this but everything is in that same handwritten font. Uh, the notes at the bottom, MCA Records, uh, 100 Universal City Plaza, California, 1977. Again in that uh, font, uh, it's got the MCA Records logo and then the RIAA logo on the side and then it's got MCA 3029 uh, in the handwritten font up here as well. Now this is printed on uh, this is printed on the cardboard it's not a paper wrap so uh, you know they didn't have to match these together so they really don't need that additional copies on there is, is printed on one big sheet and then folded up now this is a, a uh, opening album. The album opens up and inside it's got some really nice artwork. Uh, another picture of the band. A large black and white photo of the band. And it's got that MCA 3029 in the handwritten font again on here. Like I said everything is printed on uh, one large sheet. So there's really no need to print it, but for some reason they felt like they needed to. Uh, now let's look at the label here. And one little extra on here that came with this. Let's just start with the label, then we'll get to the insert. Uh, the label is the MCA Records label. Uh, this is a standard label at the time, and honestly it's one of the worst ugliest labels ever created. <laughs> this kind of tan, but it's the standard one they were using. Uh, side 1 MCA uh, on here. 19, P copyright 1977 MCA records uh, for Street Survivors and uh, it's got the side 2. So nothing special on the label as far as the band. Uh, as far as the insert goes, uh, this side has a lot of information about the band. Really your regular uh, liner notes. Uh, it's in the same handwritten font here with uh, everything on it. But what's really interesting is what's on the back side, which is a chance to order stuff. But there's one little note on here that makes it even more interesting. So you could order all this Leonard Skinner information, uh, you know, a tour booklet on here. Uh, what's, what's interesting in this, is this note right down here where it says note a trust fund has been set up to provide for the benefit and education of Ronnie Van Zant's two daughters and Steve Gaines daughter donations may be made to the Van Zant Gaines Memorial Trust Fund care of Sir Productions uh, and then the address it says, in addition, in addition to the Van Zant Gaines Trust Fund, a music scholarship has been set up on behalf of Steve and Cassie Gaines by Northeastern Oklahoma Arts and Music College in Miami, Oklahoma. Check should be made to blah, blah, blah. But what's interesting about that is that means this particular pressing was made after the accident. 
So they've always said, oh, we sent out the, we stopped sending out the albums as soon as the accident happened with this cover. But obviously they didn't because this, this insert was obviously printed after, was obviously printed and created after the accident because it has the memorial fund for two of the uh, people who were killed in the accident. So MCA was still sending out this cover after the accident occurred, even though historically, and what I always heard on the news, because I remember it from that time period, they said, oh, we're canceling that cover immediately. We're not sending any more out. I don't know if they just used up the stock they had until it ran out, but they definitely were sending them out after uh, the band had been killed. Anyway, that's the cover for MCA's or Leonard Skinner's Street Survivors. Uh, the original cover, uh, like I said, the uh, the cover they changed to looked like this, but uh, they they sold a lot of this. And, but honestly, this is a great album too if you're interested in just Leonard Skinner to pick up uh, on. This is one of their best, in my opinion.